Welcome back. The Kansas African American Museum hosted an event today highlighting the history of Negro League baseball in Wichita. Phil S. Dixon, an author and historian, was the keynote speaker of the event. KSN's Adam Orduna has details on the history lesson given to the community today. Julia, the Kansas African American Museum welcomed Phil S. Dixon to Wichita this morning, who is a well-known author and historical researcher of baseball and specifically to the Negro Leagues. During the event, Dixon talked about the importance of knowing the history of black baseball in Wichita and how some of the players paved the way for many athletes across the state in the 1920s and 30s. Traveling and speaking to people about these players has been a special way to keep the memories of these legends going. It's just been my honor to talk about these wonderful players who made baseball better for all of us who were forgotten. And so I've, you know, I've been able to spend my life talking about these guys and, and, and it's, it's really enriched my personal life. Being able to have a historian like Dixon speak to the groups in the community helps bring information that isn't widely talked about and keeps the conversation going on how we can learn from the past. Extremely important for us to know what happened then so we can know what to do later. And, and I think that's the empowering piece of having people like Phil um, and others come to the city of Wichita to tell a variety of different stories, you know, because those stories are empowering, especially for our future generations. Articulate that story for a, a completely different generation in a way that they can understand it and make it relevant to their life today. And that's kind of what I've tried to do. And that's the reason why I hooked into baseball early on, is because people made it relevant to me. Dixon has wrote 10 books now, with the latest one featuring the 1910 Leland Giants, who won 127 games and only lost six. In 1990, Dixon also co-founded the Negro League Baseball Museum in Kansas City. Here for you, Adam Morduna, KSN News 3.